from the Collingwood Countdown brought to you by La Trobe Financial, our second show and gee we must have gone alright last week, everyone's jumping on board, have a look at this, get your petrol from United, your shoes from Adidas and of course Dick Smith for all your technology needs. We're here tonight at the MCG, we take on St Kilda and when the Magpie Army thinks of history between these two sides we can all think back to that sweet 2010 Premiership but I want to refresh your memory to another win over the Yanks. It was in 1990, round five, and who better to take us there than the Macedonian marvel, Peter Dacos. Yeah, I do remember the uh, 1990 round five clash against the Saints pretty well. It was uh, the MCG, it was a huge, uh, huge audience, huge crowd there on the day. Um, it was uh, our boys taking on uh, St Kilda and, and Tony Lockett. I know Plugger had a big day that day, kicked quite a few goals. And it was a tight game uh, throughout, it was a, as they call it, traditional sort of arm wrestle. And uh, my game, well that was okay, I, uh, I think I did enough to get a war on a game the following week. Uh, I think I finished with a couple of goals, but there was an incident late in the game that, that probably helped uh, turn the game into our favour and uh, probably a little bit out of character, but uh, I had Zane Taylor thereabouts as uh, a direct opponent for most of the day. And, Somehow conjured up a free kick uh, late in the game. Um, I'd sort of uh, had goes with him and I was getting a bit of attention. I gave uh, Zane one and, and he eventually caught up with me as the ball was going to be thrown in uh, in a forward pocket. Uh, the umpire had spotted it and gave me a free kick. And uh, again, out of character. Normally I would have loved having a ping from about uh, 35, 40, but I spotted Alan Richardson the top of the square, about 15 from goal, and um, lucky enough directed the ball to him. He went back, kicked a goal, put us in front, and we went on um, to win that game. So uh, it was great. So I hope everyone enjoys the game today. Um, go Pies, and uh, let's give them heaps. It is a good looking kick. Was it touched? It's a goal. Down towards Barwick. He's clear, Doug Barwick. Can he emulate the feats of Tony Lockett? He can. Kitschke, bowing, a snap, a goal. St Kilda regain the lead. Well, this crowd of almost 70,000 have certainly got their money's worth. In a very sensitive area anyway. And loose checking by St Kilda. Alan Richardson. Has not scored today. Can cover himself in glory. Kicks and goals. There's the siren. The siren has gone. 500 goals to Lockett. If they've come up today, that milestone in a losing cause. St Kilda failing by a point against Collingwood. Four straight for the Magpies. 12-20-92. St Kilda 13-13-91. Hopefully Alan Richardson helps us get over the line tonight. Uh, now, last time we played the Aints, it was a dead set demolition job. Clikey kicked five, Pendles had 32 in a dominant display in round 11 last year. And a good one too. On the way down, fingertips to it. Nothing much Oof. done. Down goes Weller. Report. Picked off. Report it, you report it. No Swan, no Grundy. Side bottom. Jesse White then. Working tonight in tandem with Wits. It's working back nicely, puts it through. Should be a goal, White, he can go again, does. Not so good. Blair, who booted three last week, knows where they are, and he kicks a goal. Seedsman sends it inside the forward 50. Did he mark it? Yes, he did. Travis Cloak puts it through. Again, decides to run it through the wing. Kicks inside the forward 50. Cloak. Two up against him, and he juggles the mark. Contract year, Tom? That's when you usually produce, and if you've just signed a big one, you don't. <laughs> oh, you've got a bit far. There goes the kick, and it's beautiful. He puts it straight through the middle. Oh. Well, he misses Pendlebury. Cloak switches back. Elliot. Elliot's a good kick. And he's got his second goal. And Collingwood, I reckon, might be in the third spot right now. Uh, but Collingwood, with Young, ball in hand, what a great match he's had. Down the line to Thomas, a huge win for the Pies. Into the top four tonight, winning 140 to 54. Now, as we head into this weekend, we see the Aints sitting in eighth position. 
after their 28 point win over the Suns last weekend. While the Pies, well, we're in 12th spot after last weekend's loss to Adelaide. Time to get back inside the top eight. And how about the weather tonight? Is it gonna rain? Will we get wet? Do we need our ponchos? Answering these age-old questions is Mr. Number 34, Alan Tuvey. The boys are wrapped to be back at the MCG for Friday night football in front of the Magpie Army. We're projecting cloudy skies with a 20% chance of precipitation to occur sometime during the match. The weather front pushing northwards is creating calls for light winds across the metropolitan area. Visibility will be low, but those blessed with possum eyes should have no trouble reading the flight of the footy. With a game high of 15 degrees, I doubt you'll see any players with a long sleeve. Back to you, Lockie. No, oh, great stuff. And uh, you heard it from two, the chance of precipitation. Frosty did the weather last week. The boys are doing beautifully. Uh, now, we at Collingwood Media love our stats, and they go down an absolute treat when getting your funk on. So let me present to you Funky Stats. See that number one in the league so far after two rounds for Harbour gets. We're getting in and having a crack, and that's the way. Tweet, 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 tweet. Did you miss the boys on social media this week? Let's have a look at the best of a um, social bunch. special group of guests here at the MCG tonight, I'd like to welcome the African Children's Choir. Now, a new tradition to Collingwood Home Games is the celebrity raising of the banner alongside the cheer squad. And tonight we welcome award-winning food journo, TV personality, and mad magpie man, Matt Preston, to carry on the tradition. My fondest memory was going to Vic Park with my father-in-law, and he said, look, we're just going to get dressed up, we're going to the chandelier, in the chandelier bar. So I had this image, I'd never been to Vic Park, I had no idea what it was like, to the chandelier bar. So I'm, I'm really excited, I'm, got, I'm fully dressed up. Oh, we, we, walk, we walk into the ground, we walk into the, the grubbiest can bar underneath the members, there's a great rubbish chute beside me, he goes, and there's a freaking neon light in the ceiling, he goes, chandelier, and he just laughs. And I thought, I thought that, that was kind of one of those perfect introductions to Australian humour, and I think we beat Adelaide that day, which is fantastic. And it was um, the essence of what footy is about, which is supporting a team that, that has its roots in, in being a real community club, which Collingwood has. And, and that's, I think that's why the have stayed with me, Collingwood fan. Eddie in 
action out there. Have a look at this. He's this little kid in the blue. The blues wants it. Nah, nah, nah. You're not getting a kick. You're not getting a kick. And I love the spirit of this kid. Listen to this exchange. Who are you voting for? Great. No, you're not getting a kick. You're not getting a kick. He might leave an owner for the Eddie. Give the kid a kick. That's a disgrace. And that's There's nothing like hearing the playing with chant. When the Magpie Army chants, we can hear it and we love it. When we form the huddle before each game, we want to hear you chant. So when we line up for the opening bounce, we know you're with us side by side. Yeah, an important reminder from the players that they want to hear you chant that famous Collingwood chant before they huddle up just before the bounce. Now, um, just having a look at the paper here, Essendon celebrating the fact they got 55,000 members. Yeah, well done. We had that in December. Uh, 72,000 as it currently stands. Now, there's a package about to play about Anzac Day. Make sure you don't miss out as we blast the Bombers off the park. In the meantime, let's beat the Saints. Thanks for watching and go Pies! Uh -huh.